Yes. <laughs> and here we are going into game one of Losers Finals. Bowser yeah. and Palutena on display, piloted by Creeper Constable and Snook, respectively. Yeah. All right. Game one on PS2. Yeah, this is how it's all going to come down to. This is a set a lot of people were looking forward to at the start of the tournament. Um, these guys haven't played since Northern Knockdown, where Creeper was able to get the better of him. Uh, better of Snook in, I believe, when it's quarters they played there? It was before top eight, I think, but don't right. quote me on that. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if uh, Snook's gone away and, uh, you know, maybe uh, learn a bit of the matchup here, you know, practice some uh, anti Bowser tech. Uh, he seems to be coming out swinging here already, 104%. Oh my goodness. Just a raw spike. Oh, but there's the uh, explosive flame. Edo's just the second one. And there's the forward tilt, though. It's horrible angle that makes there. Makes it so awkward for Palutena to recover. Yeah, I feel like just with the amount of experience Creeper has in this matchup, not only with Snug, but also with Selkie, too. Yeah, obviously, the last tournament Creeper ended, the last set he played before today was Northern Knockdown Grand. 3 2 over Selkie. And that, that was. It wasn't all Palo. It was a bit of Aegis played, but it was a large portion of it was Palutena. Uh, I was blessed to be on the mic for that set. It was a great watch, and um, yeah, see if Creeper can uh, can use that experience to follow through. Obviously, the, the two Palutena, you know, if you think about the two Irish Palutena's is, is Snook and Selkie, and they do definitely have different styles, but there's a lot of similarity in their play. You know, Palutena isn't the kind of character that generally lends herself to. Oh, oh unfortunate, unfortunate SD there from Snook. You know, a lot a lot of Palutena gameplay often looks the same, so. Uh, We'll see if um, Creeper is able to kind of use that to his advantage in the sense that... 201. Oh my god. Oh my Finally god. dies to the nair off stage at 200%. 218 that took, that first stock took. That was just heavy, man. I don't know what to tell yeah. you. Up till there, oh my god. This is huge. 30 plus percent, 63 after the up air. Creeper's combo game is so good. Oh my god. Oh, though, Dar answering back here. The fake out that you're going low. Oh, oh you goes for the jab, grab. but tough guy. Oh, oh but the forward <laughs> smash? These guys are crazy. Taking place doesn't get punished. Uh, we go for the back throw off stage. Let's him cover to lead to, to, to stage, spot dodge. Oh my god. Back air through the, uh, the down air. These characters are both so privileged. Oh, goes low, avoids the... Uh, Autoretical, but gets it with a down tilt. Counter. And a counter. I have not seen people do that to Creeper enough. Counters him and gets him with the uh, the back air. Snook takes a slight lead here. See if Creeper can answer back. Forward tilt whiffs. Another forward tilt whiffs, and he gets Ned. He waited for the spot dodge there. Snook yeah, is actually like a lot of extra credit now. Boys, the explosive flame though. How do you get off ledge? Avoids the uh, the side beat, the snook, but lands on top of. He can't land on Bowser. He's yeah. gonna catch you with that big up tilt, huge. Uh, if not up tilt, he's gonna super super armor through. And yeah, well even even his tilts have, have have some level of armor on them, le levels of intangibility as well around his uh, exterior limbs. He's, he often acts like a bit of a sword character with like, with a lot of these uh, normals. Um, and it's a really strong uh, move, but there's still 105 percent to lead for snook. Let's see if he can close out this game one, or if uh, Creeper's got some uh, surprises in store for us. Up, he's going to whiff, back throw. And again, the order reticles have not been connected. Creeper's doing a really good job taking his low recovery route. That avoids it. Back throw, though. Can we get a, an edge guard? Creeper gets that back throw and suddenly he's moving with a menace. He's like, oh, this is my opportunity. He's ready to strike. Lands with a down air. Gets punished here with the grab. Not going to kill the back throw, but he can only eat so much more percent. The Nair gets armored through though. No tech. Oh, that could oh. be it. There's the forward air over the gap attack though. Creeper at ledge, so scary. Down air, not gonna kill quite yet. Max rage on Creeper. The counter gets eaten through as well. 70% now on Snook. He could die to anything. The forward tilt whiffs. Side B, is this gonna be enough? No. No. Forward tilt though would, forward and air would the do it. falling up there. I like that, just just drags him down with up air a bit. But the, the final hit, huge percent on Creeper and sends him off the top. 1-0 to Dara. Yeah. Oh. That was very creative because people don't usually expect an up air at that, that spot. They'll think, okay, yeah, you're not able to go for a forward air. You no, know. I love a defensive aerial like that when you're off stage. Yeah. So you come back to stage and you, you swing first 
before they can swing at you. You know, Creeper was obviously coming off with that forward air, and Dara said, no, uh, I'm not giving you an air dodge, I'm not giving you anything, I'm going to kill you first. Uh, we run it back to Pierce 2 here. Alright. Honestly, big props to everyone who's been running this event so far. The fact that we're way above, like, head of schedule is, is, is just insane. I know, we're already at losers finals, and it's what, 25 plus 5? Yeah, and the venue closes at, like, 8. I know. It's a great time here. Um, oh, but speaking of great times, Corey's having a great time uh, at the Nace Brawl here. Keeping Dara in the corner, but commentates Kurt. Dara goes for the down air. Oh, is he making that back? Just barely. Um, up air drag down, not true combo to follow out of that, but the back air is invulnerable. Side B though, these guys are going, you know, bar for bar, band for band here. They're answering back with shot after shot. Forward tilt there, finally connects on the two frame. Creeper takes a lead now, but back here off the angel plat. Counter whiffs, you could be in trouble. Bowser goes for the up B, no tech, only it's 9% off it, could have been much more dangerous. Both of these guys rolling into the corner there. They're cheeses at heart here. Gets caught, no jump with the down tilt into the nair. Air dodges. Ledge oh, trump. Oh, just very misses. Creeper avoids it with the air dodge. And oh, what a shield grab. grab. What a ballsy shield grab. He has the dog there to just, just, Snook's just putting so much pressure on him on the shield. And, uh. Yeah. Yeah. That was very smart. I mean, that's just the way to play that, you know. Up beyond shield, out of shield, great move for Bowser, laggy, if you can manage to shield it yourself. So you're able to just charge it down smash a little bit and take him off the top there. The down smash there is great, obviously, because it. Bowser has the ability to cross him up, yeah, and no, the down smash hits both sides. Yeah. So you're, you're taking the risk of having to make that reaction of which side he's on right at the very end. These nairs are huge. 41%. Oh, oh that's it. the down air off the oh bottom. My oh my god. He said, I'm going to nair you, I'm going to nair you, I'm going to nair you. And then, oh, you give me one little opening there. You go too low off stage. Boom. Spike to see you. And this is a huge now lead for, uh, for Snoke. You can see why Creepers clearly struggled with this uh, matchup in the past uh, in terms of playing against Snook, because he just seems to have just kind of a, a download on, on, on where Creeper's going to be, you know, defensively. Normally we talk such a big game about how strong Creeper's defensive game is, but yeah. Snook's offensive game has been incredible. He's had an answer for everything, um, you know. Creep, it's like Snook's throwing something out, Creeper's answered it, and Snook's answered back. And it's like we haven't seen that fourth level adaptation yet from, from oh, Creeper. Yeah, definitely. I feel like it's just... The most crazy thing about Creeper especially is how Oh, well double jump call that hold on though. Okay. No F tilt. Goes for another one. Gets back throw. This is dangerous. Oh, side B off ledge Very though. smart using this with the command grab to get off ledge. Shields there. Nice. Try striking with the up air. Oh, oh bounces no. off the stage. And then gets and caught. that's going to be it. Oh no. my god, the fade back there from Corey was insane. Stash. I mean, he's got the best recovery in the business. Does get caught there though by that. And uh, good edge to avoid one. Hold on though. He gets the F tilt here. Honestly, why not go for it, you know? Like, because you have a full stock to yeah. play. Shield poke there on the nair. Snuck's moving so evasive right now. It's so hard for people to get in on it. Yeah, an up tilt. I've been an up tilt on Creeper right now. There oh, we go. Hold go. on. Just side B. Side is that going to do it? Yes. Creeper's brought it back to last stock here. And you know how Creeper's on last stock. He's got a wee smile on his face. He's feeling mischievous. He could easily take this. There's the nair. That's the thing Bowser does. It puts you in that panic of where he's at 170. He's not dead yet. Snook's great at staying calm and avoiding that the kind of stress as it puts you in. Yeah, Creeper is looking for a grab right now. He knows he can get so much damage off it. Avoids the down tilt here. Gets ledge yeah, trump though, and you can't avoid the ledge trump there. 2-0 to Snook. How's Corey going to answer back? That game, especially the second stop, was pretty dominant. I mean, that, that combo Dara hit, the nares, the nares, the nares, and then just, oh, you just wait a bit, you know, Corey gets a little bit nervous. He air dodges, I think he air dodges, and then... Did he air dodge, and then just... The downer, yeah. The, the, just the stomp, the sweeping leg from Peltano. I'm flustered. No, 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 a bit flustered right now. We're going to uh, Town City. It's an interesting counter pick. Obviously, this is where Dara was taking Wombat earlier, so we know he's very clearly happy to be yeah. here. Comfortable on the stage with uh, Peltano. But Corey's the one making the counter pick here. What do you make of that, Scoop? Yeah, I don't know. I feel, I feel like it makes sense, especially with Bowser. Um, you know, you kill earlier off the side with side B, especially with like the, the glass ones, especially. You know, you can edge guard more efficiently with forward air. Yeah, that's uh, the thing is that Snook's been doing a lot of edge guarding, so he's going to get a lot of the same kills off edge guarding regardless of the uh, blast on size. Whereas Corey's the one kind of killing it outright with moves, so it'll be interesting to see how he can abuse the kind of tighter blast on the side there. Maybe some forward airs off the side, using those high platforms there as well to kill off the side B. There's another one. Is that it? 
No, it's not barely. Yet. Slightly stale. Oh, gets caught with the uh, explosive flame there, though. i would be on the roll. Obviously, these F-tilts will be killing Sun earlier as well. Still not dead. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Town City has that high ceiling, so the, those side bees aren't going to be killing as early. Surely, they just want to wrap it up there, down though. Yeah, 162%. Snook. Slightly lost on this counter pick now. I mean, yeah. Creeper's come to a really great start here. Goes for that run across the stage, pivot row. I love Bowser Ford. Bowser Ford has such a great, like, looking and sounding move. Yeah, yeah, just the way he, like, slices He's through. Very sad, He's got a really good, nice hit lag. Big um, flame breath there. Big damage. Corey almost left him percent. Here it comes. 82% now. Oh, it goes for another one. Big damage. F tilt. Not going to connect. Snook retreats to the platform. Gets the back air. Puts Corey out there himself. But good get up attack. Four days coming out from both of them. Snook wins. Oh, falling up here. Yeah, interesting pressure set up there. Creeper still a full stock up here, but gets caught with that down tilt forward. Not going to kill quite yet. Edo just through the explosive flame. Count is far too early. Gets caught now with the up B and no tech. That move is so hard to take. There's so many little hits on it that getting a tech on it is going to be really it tricky. A lot to, was it Sandboy or someone else versus Creeper? Or yeah, I mean, that forward air is still not going to kill. Forward air, a great move, is not a really a kill move. 157, he's still living at Town City. Goes for the roll behind grab, doesn't connect, but gets clipped by the back air there on the spot dodge. Yeah. Creeper wants to get on the board right now. Yeah, Creeper, he's got a full stock lead here, but he can't be, you can never get too complacent against a player like Snook because he will just take advantage of any little error you make, as we saw a second stock game too. But um, yeah, he wants to get himself on the board here. He's staring down the barrel of a reverse 3 if he wants to uh, make it to grand uh, and faces a uh, fellow Ulsterman Wombat when he gets there. Shout out to the strongest region. Um, but Snook's trying to prevent that, misses the ledge from there, and uh, only 27% on the Snook stock so far, but it's it's rising. 55 now. Big forward air. Answers back though. Nair. Rolls through. Oh, these Nairs coming out from Snook now are really scary. Creeper looks like he could be exposed here in, in um, his advantage. Makes it back to the ledge there though. And he's looking for a kill move in his own. Yeah, Snook's gonna, like, I don't know. I feel like he's just been getting kills a lot later. Oh, the wind box there? Oh my god. Oh, goes to center stage, doesn't get punished for it. There's the side B, is that going to do it? No, not yet, but into triple digits from Snook. Gets his double jump back. Goes to the, uh, the, the, the down B, trying to call out a jump. Um, it's still a full stock lead here for, for Creeper, although he does get knocked off stage, and there's the back air. Evens up the stock count, but 107% now on Snook. Can he make a comeback? Or is oh, the falling up I love Bowser falling up it's such a cool move. Nares, here come the Nares, though. 30, 40. Down it! Oh, but Creeper makes it back! I thought that was it, but Creeper makes it back. 66%. The crowd's now going mental for Dara. They want to see this uh, this comeback here. And Dara was down. Oh, but the forward air on the rolls. Creeper puts himself on the board. 2-1. I was about to say, Dara was down off full stock there, you know? Like, he only had one stock to work with. No, I don't think Dara's going to be annoyed there, um, losing that game. Obviously... You know, you never want to be dropping games, um, especially against a guy like Creeper who can just kill you sometimes. Any, any, just you know, off anything. Yeah. But um, you know, he got the momentum at the end. He's going, he's going to, he's going to have gained a lot of information there from that game that he's, he'll be able to use. That's the things like even if you're dropping games, you're gathering information. Yeah. You'll be able to store those reads and you'll be able to and unleash like them later on in the that, set. That downer was literally one interaction away from winning the game, so you can't really be mad, you know. Yeah. Like it's. This is really interesting. We've gone back to town. Creeper counterpicked it, and now Dara's counterpicked it. Oh, wait. The, the, the stages, I, I'm, I'm getting a feeling these guys aren't really, you know, the stages aren't Important. the forefront of these guys' yeah. mind. We're here for the characters and the way that they interact. The stages is more of an afterthought of the way these guys are, uh, are picking. But, um... Oh, side B there. Oh, it does yeah. kill off the top. I wasn't sure if that one was going to go. Those side platforms are so high that it, uh, if Bowser's able to get the side B off it, it kills so early. That, that was sub-100 that he died. Now... Snook, oh, oh unfortunate. really unfortunate, zero percent SD there. Creeper suddenly now looking at this, he's going, well, hold on, I've, I've I've found my way into a game five. Okay, suddenly hold on, I know it's not over till it's over, but you know we've seen the comeback Snook's capable of, but that's a real gift he's given him there. And that like mentally just hurts, you know, like. Yeah, you know, Snook, you know, originally he was coming off the, the momentum there of the game four, even if he lost, he was feeling good, but now it's like he's he he, he got zero to death and then he got SD, like he um. Yeah, you're going to have to work so hard to get, get back yeah, in this like game. 
You almost and have to, Creeper to mentally reset and go, no, I'm going to... Yeah, and Creeper's not going to, like, oh, let yeah. happen. Creeper was going for the, uh, the suicide. Oh, my God, there he killed at 60. Yeah, Dara was trying to get him back onto the platform. He does that. But you say, just a side B, and it's like, uh, could be over here. Wouldn't be surprised if we see Creeper go for the side between later again. Or goes to the down air to end it. And there it is. Not going to kill yet. F tilt not going to hit, but, I mean, we're looking at... He's down on the board with three stock here. Until I said that. Gets on the board. All right. He's not gets a stock for himself. and um, Creeper just waited just there. Oh, my God. He just stood there and then he boarded. He stood there. He's like, press a button, please. And there's the forward tilt. Oh, my God. He doesn't miss those when it all comes down to it. Game five. Here we go. Creeper and Snook. We told you these guys said it's going to be back and forth. Creeper giving a little bit of a gift there with the Snook SD at zero. But he's now looking at a reverse trio. And we're going to Hollow Bastion. Thoughts? Kev. Kev. It's 2-2. Yeah. Right. Game five. Losers right. finals at the Nace Brawl. Wombat awaits them in Grands. Who's going to get there? Snook or Creeper? Here we go. Well, we see the old all lens, uh, also, um, Grand Finals. Or is Snook going to... Just pre 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 prevent that from happening. I mean, we are at a Leinster event with no Leinster players in top eight. That I can confirm. Uh, it's either going to be Ulster Munster or Ulster Ulster. And I mean, that would be some statement with Turf War coming up ahead if Ulster is able to come to Leinster and say, you guys top players aren't even able to compete with us. We, we had to fight ourselves in ground. Um, and I'm not sure if that's going to be mine on the competitors, but it's definitely going to be in the minds of the spectators at home. I know G6 deal got mental. Oh, oh my god. They'll be popping off right now for that huge back air from Creeper. Gives him a nice solid lead going into game five here. Oh, roll in on the uh, neutral B. Huge damage now, 50% from Creeper. Already lapped him. What? Street says Jova. Kevin's, uh, Kevin's not confident in the snook. Street says Jova. I don't know, boys. Uh, up end there. Creeper's on a different level right now. Creeper I mean, wants to run back with Wombat. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, no, Creepy hasn't played Wombat today. Oh no, not today, but like he just wants to play Wombat. Yeah, he, he wants. He wants to make. He wants to be the guy that won this tournament. Yeah. Oh, what a forward tilt! What a phenomenal forward tilt! Um, this is really dominant here for Creeper now. Suddenly, you know, Snook looked like he was in so, so much control. Uh, games one and two, but Creeper's just really turned up the heat here. Doesn't get less from this time. Jab on the wake up. Oh, the jab check, tech chase. That's crazy. The tech chase Creeper's able to set up and then. Profit off is really like a, a good way to see how he's pushing that of his character. Where he's like, he knows he doesn't have true combos, but he can put you in situations where it's like everything's rigged in his favor. He's just up to him to, yeah. you know, pick the right option. I feel like the big thing right now is that like Creeper's just all over. Oh, what a recovery to avoid the nair there. Goes for oh, the side beat, doesn't try, yeah. Up be here though, though. Gets down smash. Okay. And uh, Snook's got a little bit of a hope. It's a, it's a little bit. He's got a tiny, tiny bit. Gets forward edge. Creeper bets it all on the forward smash there. 39% gets the forward air. I guess the up B there though. Back air. Neutral B. Catches him. 72%. Forward tilt not going to connect. But there's the up B. And Snook's in a world of hurt right now. Forward. Oh, oh footstool's out, out of there. Go. Warp cancel, but it's still incredibly dangerous. Goes for the forward throw. Doesn't get anything off it. Nair's not going to connect. Oh my god, so Go he has to bet it all on the down air, and I mean, these are such risky options. He's so far in a deficit now. That was such now. a risky teleport. Oh my god, Creeper goes for the uh, side B, not going to take it yet, but one more. He's only got one more of those in him. Goes for the uh, the down tilt for the two frame this time. Up up air, up tilt, to pull up the jump, doesn't connect. Here we go, forward air, down air. Oh, oh my god, what happened Catches him out of mid air, and that's going to do it. Creeper, Constable, wow. moves on Good to Grand Finals. To meet Wombat, all Ulster Grand Finals. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, what does that tell you coming into Turf War um, in July? Who's the strongest region now? I, I'm, I'm hearing it's an Ulster, an all Ulster final. I'm, I'm hearing that there's, there's a regional debate going on, but it's being settled. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No worries. Uh, I, I'm actually going to Wombat pop into the toilet there before we get to Grands. I'm going to do the same. Oops, oops. Oh, do you tell, tell them about how good